In this video, we are going to discuss about multiple logistic regression using graph pad prism. And I will also tell you how to use the various statistical measures in a in this data set okay so here we are going to use the multiple logistic regression text variable click here and click create where you will land up with the data source okay so this is the data set got it so first understand about the data set so the very first thing which you should do whenever you see the data okay so whenever you see the data you have to understand what type of data it is that is very important so this is the data you have so what is the data okay so numerous sources have collected and reported the demographic characteristics of the passengers and crew of the rms titanic as well as the fate of each individual okay so this is about the rms titanic data set and here if you see you have nearly four attributes so first thing you have to analyze the data and you have to understand what is the characteristics of the data so this is the categorical data this is the categorical data where and this is you have to check like what type of data it is this is continuous okay um, and this is categorical and this is continuous this is continuous this is categorical and this is categorical so you have three different categories of data and one continuous data now let us understand what you can do and what is the logistic regression okay and how this logic regression is different that you can understand from here okay that is when you have to use a logistic regression so your if your response outcome variable is binary binary means what so you here you have two different thing that is the outcome outcome is exactly your your uh, label data that is your response data okay so here you have two types one is survived and second one is died okay so that is you have two different uh, that is two different outcome so it is called as a binary so by means two so we'll be using in logistic regression we have to use the, the probability okay they'll be trying out the probability to find what is the occurrence of the two events that is what the logic so always you know that probability that is a continuous variable this has to be encoded into ones and zeros that is you can have like a survived as one and it died as zero okay so the probability that will be calculated here automatically so always remember in logistic regression you will be using probability concept okay so here in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how to use this tutorial with various statistical measures well first let us understand the logistic regression and then we will also i'll also tell you how to find the descriptive statistics click here analyze okay in the analysis tab you can see that you have uh, let's minimize all these things okay so in the analysis tab you have analyze click here analyze and click here multiple logistic regression and click ok and uh, you have that is this is what your dependent variable that is the outcome okay based on this only we can find it so click here outcome and what is the negative and outcome so here you can see that the value of representing negative outcome negative outcome means zero okay that is died and the positive outcome is survived so if you want to change this you can also change this okay so then click ok your log logistic regression calculation is done here okay so this is multiple logistic regression that is a titanic so here you can see that what type of regression they have used it and what are the parameter estimates okay and you can see that the estimations are done here 
and the ROC curve you can see it here and what is the classification table that what is the table we have that is observed it died that is predicted die predicted survived total correctly classified okay there is the accuracy the accuracy and uh, the other things okay so that we can calculate from here the here you can see the p value okay so everything is here and the, finally the data summary is also here how many number of rows in a table and a row skipped how many rows are skipped because there might be some missing data means the rows will be skipped up so everything is shown here and you can also see the row prediction okay that is x is the outcome okay this is the actual outcome and this is the predicted probability what is the actual outcome that is zero that is it is it is like died okay and what is the predicted probability 0 0.126 okay here you can see the row prediction as well now let's see the graph okay this is the roc curve multiple logistic regression you can see what is the cap curve here and if you want to see the predicted versus observed logistic regression this is what it has automatically generated and if you want to change the uh, change the different types of graph we can come here and change it okay change choose a different graph click here and change it okay now we are going to add one more statistic analysis here so again go to analyze okay go to analyze now we are going to find the descriptive statistics for this okay we are going to find the descriptive statistics for this which will be available in multiple variable analysis click ok and then click whatever you need like a quartiles what is a column sum geometric mean and coefficient variation and skewness and I need the percentile as 95 confidence intention confidence intervals okay I need all these things and then I'm just changing it to 2 and I'm clicking okay okay click ok so you can see that for that data that is for the Titanic data your descriptive statistics is also generated got it so your descriptive statistics is also generated and if you want to analyze this with a graph okay this is a descriptive statistics graph okay so for descriptive statistics we will not be using any graph so that you can see here okay so in the left side you can see that this is what your data set that is multiple logistic regression data and for this we have did the multiple logistic regression analysis that is predicted uh, and this is observed uh, sheet is also created generated descriptive statistics is also generated for the same data set so this is your descriptive statistic sheet click here you can see that this is your descriptive statistics sheet okay so this is how you can do various statistics for example if you want to do uh, principal component analysis for the same for the same data set okay that also you can do simply go and click the analyze and then you have to find where is your uh, principal component analysis it's in multiple variable analysis so click here principal component analysis and click ok and then click ok it will show up that which is the highest so probably the principal component analysis we will not be doing it for the few attributes right we know and we have only we have only one um, that is a numeric data okay we have three categorical data only one numerical data so for this we will not find a um, principal component analysis but anyhow I just want to show you like which uh, what are the other uh, um, like how to add more statistical measure for the same data set 
okay so whatever you want to you wish to add just go to analyze and click okay so here you can see that if you want to analyze uh, change the analysis parameter for example in the uh, what we have given is like we have given outcome as the analysis parameter but if you want to change that you can also change that but it is better um, to keep it as such. so because that is what the exact parameter which we wish to analyze right so leave it as such and if you want to check whether the analysis which you have done is correct or not you can click here interpret okay it will redirect you to a, a website like um, the analysis check checklist website where you can understand that what you have done is correct or not try it and see now I'm just going to change some uh, thing in the graph okay click on the ROC graph and if you want to rename it you can just rename it or if you want to do some changes to it okay for example uh, if you you can see here that in this graph if I want to change the fit line see this fit line is based on multiple regression okay if I want to change this fit line with simple linear regression that is possible here okay you can click here and give the changes according to this and then click OK okay here you can see that you can see a single linear regression okay so any any other changes if you wish to do so click here and see go to the graph click here and see that you can see uh, if you want to fit the curve with a non-linear regression and if you want to fit a simple logistic regression model and if you want to interpolate a standard curve so everything that is possible with this okay so whichever you wish to do that you can just try this and if it is possible it will show you it will show you up uh, if it is not possible it will end up with any error okay so in another graph you can see that okay this is hyperbola it is created and uh, for this is created for PCA okay that is principal component analysis it is created you can see the various graphs here over here and if you want to visualize all these graphs in a single page okay that is possible with the layout so I'm just showing the cursor on the left side okay see here just click add layout and then click here okay click how many images you wish to add it so click the images the number of images you wish to add it click OK and then simply drag and drop it okay that's it if you don't want you can simply delete it and then just move it around okay and finally you can also uh, lay some you can just uh, rename this okay if you want to rename here uh, that is if you want to rename the caption of the image so that you can do it in the graphs okay simply do this here for example I'm just changing it to ROC curve for Titanic data okay simply I'm just giving one minute okay so I'm just changing it here and that you can that is automatically applied here as well okay it is ROC curve so whatever you change in the original graph that you can see that in the layouts graph as well okay so this is how you can apply the various statistical measures for your single data I'm just showing the example with the default data which is available in graphpad prism itself because you might be from any stream okay the one whom who is viewing this video might be from any stream if I particularly tell in uh, in my uh, area of uh, expertise it will not be you cannot easily uh, correlate with that 
so what i'll i'll i would recommend is like you just understand what type of data they are using for the logistic regression for the linear regression and based on that you just cross check with your data set what type of data set you have and then you can start working on it 